Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, so today we're going to talk about something called a light cookie. And it is not just a sweet treat. And um, what, what it is basically, it's a win window pattern. As you see here in this screen here, the light is going through like a very, I think it's called like archaic architecture, I think. Um, feel free to comment in the comment section to let me know what type of window that might be uh, but as we rotate the thing is there's no there's no window so you know what's going on here um, so the cookie basically if we look at a light so I think this one was through a directional light sorry it is not it is through the spotlight okay and so we have the section here called cookie and that is basically projecting the light <clears throat> based I think basically on some alpha channels but it's off of a pattern so if we look here there's an actual window pattern that's selected and you can pick any type of shape you want you can make a star or um, happy face whatever you want uh, but the thing is, like here in Photoshop, is that you can take a window and just take out all the framing. And Unity will want to just have the, the, the black colored areas. Instead of white, like Alpha Channel, it's going to want to just use the black sections here <clears throat> to make a pattern for the light. So once that's done, um, you don't save it as a JPEG. You want to save this as, um, I think this one we saved it as a, what did we save this as? We saved this one, I think, it wasn't a TIFF, it was a PNG. That way, it kind of captures everything going on. <clears throat> now, it is multi layer. Um, that way we have a, an empty background layer so after you're, you're done you know cutting this up with whatever tools in, in Photoshop whether it be a smiley face happy face round face whatever you know ornament window whatever it is um, go to save as and of course you know on a computer or you know whatever, whatever you use for saving media and go down to <clears throat> Okay, now I figured out what was going on here. Uh, okay, so in the event you go to save as and you go through, you know, where to put your file at and you can't find PNG, uh, you do two things. Um, I was trying to scratch my head why it wasn't allowing me to save as a PNG file. You can go to export, click export as PNG or save as copy, and you want to save it as PNG. Uh, where is the PNG? There it is. Okay. So make sure you um, place it in a, in a good location that we can find it easily. And then, you know, next you just go to here, right click, um, import new asset, or you can click and drag it into, or, you know, reasonable location um, for your project. And from there, you would go to, if you haven't already, if you don't have a light already, um, you know, go, go to game object light whatever you need to you know pick whatever which light you want uh, I think for this one we created a directional light and uh, just created from there uh, since we already have one I just want to that light and just go to the cookie section I think this one was for the spotlight actually and sit in you would you could do two ways you can either click and drag it in to this location here or if you click on the little dot there, you pick it from the file system, do a search here if you need to, um, and then select the, the object, it'll go on there. 
And here's the other thing, two other, well, two other things, is that you can pick the size to however you want. <clears throat> I think the original size is like 10 or 15 or something like that, and it's really small. And when you go too small, they repeat. Now that's great if, you know, you got a, a scene where the building next to you might have like multiple windows and the casting light, you know, wh whatever you need. But if it's just one, if it's just like the morning, you know, it's coming in like on a hot summer day or a sunset, you, know, you can uh, pick the size you want. You can also change the color. Yeah, maybe it's kind of like the moon is shining outside and shining through the window. Now, the cool part about this is it's kind of communicating that we have a window, but there's nothing here. We didn't have to build a whole, you know, window and spend time with it. I mean, you can if you need to. Um, that would be great, you know, in case you have a shot that or a game game mobile that might have you know multiple camera directions or if you're traveling through like an RPG or uh, or whatnot that'd be great but this saves kind of a lot of time a lot a lot of time and you can pick the color uh, now I presume you could use a pattern like let's say the light the light was shining through like a church's stained gla glass window you could probably find a color texture and place it in here or, or you know create some magic with that and uh, I presume you could do that but this is just kind of something of you know like a like a cookie it, it's it's nothing it's a kind of a cool trick to make your scenes pop a little bit more um, you can change the intensity if you need to you can fade it you know whatever you need to um, also change the shadow type so make it more crisper make it more softer and change the resolution resolution settings whatever you need to but this is just kind of a little cool thing you can do uh, you know it doesn't take much you can use whatever pattern you want you know Photoshop uh, you know make your own or import something in uh, it's up to you all right thank you so much